Hi everyone, I'm Josh, and welcome to Battletech, the tabletop RPG system that is not called Mech Warrior, but gave you the Mech Warrior games in the 90s. I still consider it a spin-off of Mech Warrior, but that's because I'm difficult. So this is a XCOM-esque sort of um, turn-based, the turn-based tactical game with um, a sort of like strategic layer. I feel like it's more um, Valkyria Chronicles-y than XCOM-y, but... It's like XCOM, but more... Because uh, <laughs> there's no grid. <laughs> there, there is kind of a grid. Um, it, there, it is. It's an invisible grid here. in a way. Um, we're, we're part of the way through the campaign here. Um, we're about to hit probably the hardest mission on the campaign, and mm. uh, this is actually... You haven't beaten it yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Think I'm just looking at like the stuff that I had back. Like this is a save from um, like a couple weeks ago. That kind of the stuff that I've got here. So you can um, you can reset stuff. Uh, yeah, you can refit your mechs with all these different kinds of stuff. And this game, uh, the biggest problem with this game is that it does not explain to you anything about like what all this means. So like. You glitch. We're we're able to jump right into yeah. this because you had played Mech Warrior online, and I was gonna ask, did, was it really confusing? Because none of this, so, it like, doesn't what the really fuck explain. is an AC two. I don't know. Right, it doesn't explain to you what those things are. You probably have to kind of figure it out as you play the game. Uh, I personally, yeah. you know, like you mentioned, I have Mech Warrior online experience. I've loved the franchise for a long time, uh, and so I knew all of this going in. Um, but you had a very different experience with it. Was it, like, extremely frustrating to understand all of these it, things? It took me a little while to figure this stuff out. Um, so I, I think I'm okay with what we've got here. Um, I was gonna... Do we have... That's an AC-10... Wow, what is this? What was I doing with this? Just an AC-10 plus and a large laser? What? Let's fix this. <laughs> Let's fix that's, this mech. Uh, that's not good. This is this is a good time to talk about um, one of my favorite parts about this game, which is the actual mech management. Um, the interface is a little clunky, but otherwise it's really fun to uh, build your mechs and you know kind of retrofit them to do different things. Um, I like the AC10. This Let's game throw in. This game does have a lot of options. You can do, uh, I think they have like five different weapon types, or maybe six. Um, you've got la things like you... small lasers and machine guns that are close range, yeah. uh, longer weapons that can like act as snipers, like that's the AC weapons and the... Um, yeah, Although not all the AC weapons PPC. are long range. Um... Yeah, but they're all longer than like medium lasers. I, I, I don't know, maybe that's just the, from my experience playing um, the other game. Uh, like AC's already have a longer maximum distance than lasers have any tend AC to have. Ten ammo either. Sucks. <laughs> um, wow, what a loser. You know, you can go to the store. You have to exit out of the thing I'm, all I'm, the changes you've made. But... Yeah, well, I'm I'm in transit right now, so I can't. Um, oh. oh, you could. We're, we're docked well, to a jump ship right now, so. Um, let's um, throw in some SRMs. Srims. These are short-range missiles. Something that I did not use very much of during my playthrough. So we'll see. Ammo in here. And... Also, during my playthrough, uh, this mission kicked my ass. But uh, in retrospect, yes. I realized I set it to a harder difficulty, and uh, didn't realize that until after I beat the campaign that I had done that, and couldn't figure out why I just some of the missions were just really hard to do. Uh, turns out I was on a higher difficulty. So these well, things I, and you'll adding, get that. Uh, ha having not actually played the game, even though I own it, um, the things that you're adding, I, I get what they are because I played Mech Warrior back in the day. What I don't get are is are these oh, things you have found? Do you have to buy them? What? How do you, you can what buy limits? them? You can loot them. So okay, at the end of right. every mission that you do, you get salvage, and you can negotiate, like, you can trade off um, between the reputation you get from the mission, the amount of money you get from the mission, and um, the 
uh, the like salvage that you get to get from the mission to like kind of like you know pick what you want. Um, but at the end of every mission, you get some kind of salvage. So yeah. Our next egg is uh, Darius, so is this like you gotta fucking bug me about that all the time? Is this You're like always a, gonna be running out of money? Not really, but they'll tell you who you are. Is this like XCOM in that you are fast forwarding in order to get the changes on your mech implemented? Because I am used yep. to Mech Warrior yep, where are, it's kind of instant. We are instant. progressing time now. Yeah. Let's take a look at to the To be fair, a lot of that have. is done during traveling. Uh, I didn't have to wait too long. I mean, obviously so there's occasions that come up character. where you have to just oh, don't have a... speed a long time because you're waiting for a mech to get upgraded Act or whatever. Eight, but most of the time, nine. you're traveling. And travel does take time in this game. That, that brings us to one problem I really do have with this game, which is that it does have a story that Commander? seems to have these, like, set points in time. In fact, yeah, at one point, a character does say, I've been waiting for two years to do XYZ. Um, and, and in reality, in my game, it had actually been four, because I had been, uh, <laughs> I'd taken so long, I'd done so many side quests, and I was, like, a uh, hundred weeks into the game. Stop by the store here, can I? I have to go. Um, so you end up spending a lot years. of time. Yeah, well, the game starts out two years after, like, the, the tutorial. Uh, so it, was, it ended up being, like, four years. But, like, it has these set points where it's, like... Uh, oh, yeah, this is going on, and it kind of has this storyline. And this is a problem I have with a lot of games like this, uh, RPGs, is that it has the storyline that seems like, oh, this is a very important thing that needs to be going on. But in this game, you almost never can do it quickly. Um, if you want to, especially in the harder difficulties, if you want to have money, you need to do side quests. And those side quests will end up taking like weeks and weeks out of your game because um you do have to do repairs that take time all right let's do this contract proceed so we're gonna die here right uh i did a fire starter here and that was a bad idea yeah don't do a fire starter i, I like that i'm in this starter. game by the way that's the best character glitch. Uh, you get you get some characters yep. to start with, and she's one of them all every time. Uh, and oh, the she's amazing. Over here. Okay. Um. So am I reading this right? And that individual pilots have perks in addition to the layout loadout of your mech. Uh yes. Yeah. Um, each pilot has their own tech tree or skill tree. We looked at that briefly. Um, do I want? It's not like classes in XCOM though like it's everyone yeah. can get like you could have characters who all have the same loadout essentially um skill wise but um you know you don't always want that sometimes I, you I, do some of the skills are completely worthless I, I imagine the mech themselves the, the mech Shadow loadouts Hawk are more important than the skills absolutely what was the question Josh what, what? do you think the Shadowhawk with the AC-10 or the Centurion with the AC-5 but an LRM-20 I didn't really use LRMs in the campaign, so I would say AC-10, but... You, you didn't I, run LRM boats? No, I never did. It's from my Mech Warrior days. Uh, when I, I played mean, Mech I, Warrior, this, this it was all about the blackjack with lasers. I think we'll stick with that. Yeah, lasers uh, and Mech Warrior really were more important. I, I feel bad that my frame of reference here are games from 1995 and 1999. Like, I am old. All right. Uh, one of the big problems, and we're about to see this, I'll point it out, but one of the big problems with lasers in this game is that your mechs uh, don't aim very well. Like in Mech Warrior Online, uh, if you shoot your lasers and you hit your target, probably every single one of your lasers is going to hit the target. It's not. It would be well, strange. In to older Mech Warrior miss. games, you also had the benefit of the. Like the real cost for lasers in the older Mech Warrior games were the heat. Impact lasers were would go were a uh, hit right. scan and would do pretty decent damage, but they uh, filled up your heat sink real easy. Whereas rockets he take a little a while big to deal arm. On this, in this the heat's game. always been a problem in Mech Warriors. Um, that All right. is not necessarily welcome to Smith and Commander. The bulk of our army is entrenched. Okay, so what's happening here is in the story. Um, this is Kamea Arano, the uh, deposed heir to the. Uh, a Regan Reach, which has been taken over by her uncle, 
who turned it into the Oregon Directorate, which is some kind of weird, like, autocratic, like, bad... Uh, the thing you have to deal with with Mech Warrior is it is, is super, super pro-monarchy. It is Renaissance politics playing out in space in 3000 Josh, AD. this is a spoiler that you're um, showing that she's alive, because you didn't see yeah, that Yeah, she dies in the, the first mission and shows up a mission quote, quote, unquote, later, dies. so... Anyway, uh, so we're taking this planet. We're going to land on this planet and, and try to help take it with her army. Um, we used to be a member of a Royal Guard. We joined a, uh, and took over a uh, mercenary company for a while because we thought she was dead. Then she showed up. So the battle is leaning in our favor, but we're running low on ammunition. This is where you come in. Structure before you is a munitions dump that the Directorate stole from House Corrosis. I need you to take it back. Find all the hostile units and eliminate them. Our support staff will handle the rest. Highlighted several optional objectives on your mission, a lot of optional objectives in this game, that all pay equally well. Saving some of the ammunition that's already packaged for transport will earn you a bonus payment. If you manage to preserve the bulk of the ammunition, you receive a second cumulative payment. Finally, I will pay you a bounty for any directorate transports you manage to destroy during the engagement. So, uh, the assignment comes with risks, the facility is heavily guarded, and if any of those munitions come under or creates fire, the resulting explosion will deal heavy damage to anything caught in the blast. Uh, this includes directorate units, so feel free to target the crates yourself, but know that you may be sacrificing a bonus in so doing. So basically, this map is full of red barrels, but you don't, but you want to preserve the red barrels, because if you don't, then, um, uh, you won't get the bonus payout. Um, there are also right. trucks that will you spawn can... up here that we need to kind of, uh, shimmy over this way to deal with pretty quickly, so... Uh, you the can, challenge is um, you can not blow up some of them in this, this turret here. I think you get this... two free blow ups before it starts costing you objectives. Yeah, it's, you points. need to, there are eight. You need to to save six. Here's one of my biggest problems. We just okay. encounter one of my biggest problems with the game. As soon as you encounter an enemy, it ends your turn. It didn't end your no, turn. No, if you see oh, an enemy, it ends if, your if turn. They, no, if they see you, is specific what it is. Uh, it'll end your turn. So I guess you didn't encounter that. Oh man, it's weird. So on higher difficulties, they spawn in other mechs because there's no way I could be where you're at right now that, without being spotted yet. Like, oh really? Uh, as soon as you go up to that ridge, you get spotted. So uh, I played on a higher difficulty, so some of my commentary will be different. Um, this this level was near impossible. It took me 12 hours to beat this. Yeah, I know that's a long time. I. Uh, I am a fan of the method of fail as many times as possible before you succeed. I just go in uh, and keep keep losing until I win. Like an idiot. Okay, I'm gonna just fucking book my uh, heavy mech over to here so that when the trucks spawn up next turn, I'll be able to go kill them. Uh, she'll probably take some fire, but whatever. She's got the evasion perk, so... So, um, turn order in this game is, is interesting. There's a lot of, uh, um, strategy around playing around turn order. You can see that up top we've got five different phases of initiative. Five goes first, then four, then three, and so on. Um, you can see all my mechs right here are phase three. Um, so, and there's no enemies in phase three. Those would be, like, red things, which you not really see, but there are a bunch of red things on four. Um... So I'm going to get to go with all my mechs now, before they get to go once. And you've got the ability to move to these various points. It's not really a grid, but it is That's, kind of a grid. It's kind um, of a grid. I mean, it, it really is a grid if you look at it. It just doesn't yeah. look like one. Can I... Is there a way to examine the things that you don't have in your line of sight? Because I've never discovered that. Uh, so I want to know how much damn yes. armor there is on that light laser turret. You, can't you right click it? Oh, how about that? Uh, 90 and 7, yeah. so I need to do 100. Uh, that should be doable. Okay, so we're going to roll over here and take that turret out. Heading out. I wonder if this will be much easier, since you're on a lower difficulty. Because uh, I... This was one of the missions I almost didn't complete all the objectives on. There was one that I didn't... Because it was literally right, impossible. 
So did you fire every weapon at once? One left yep, I did an alpha strike. So you can turn off weapons to preserve heat. Um, the heat management on that particular mech is really good, even in an environment where Waiting we're like heat dissipation is is uh, affected by the biome you're in. We're in a desert, so we only do 85% of our normal heat dissipation. Um, I could blow up this crate to take out these two turrets. I'm not sure that's all that useful. Uh, See, my original strategy was to... Turrets? Yeah, yeah, it does. My original strategy was to get a, huh. a light mech. I forgot what I'd done. I got a light mech, and then, like, it... And I had an increased initiative person, so it got to go, real, like, immediately and blow up the ammo crate and get all of these guys, which... Really good. Yeah. Not so useful right now, though, because they're all out here. Um, right. I think I'm going to actually preserve Getting those turrets my... down, I wish I had known that, because uh, those turrets are a real pain. Um, something that we haven't talked about is stability. Um, and your mech gets a certain amount of stability, you have different things that can increase that. Um, but if you reach your maximum stability threshold, uh, yeah, you will fall over. And, and it's, uh, it's a real problem to fall over in this game. It lowers your initiative, it does a, uh, an injured injury to your mech warrior, which is your, your characters, uh, and it just generally makes it, it you, you can die a lot more easily. Um, and those turrets have... Did that not blow up? Oh my god, did it blow up? I think it blew up. Okay. okay. This game is, uh... <laughs> it's, it does, it takes a while for it to think about stuff. Yeah. But anyway, um... Uh, LRMs, especially, the, the missiles will knock mechs over all the time, and I had a really hard time killing those turrets, because if I peeked that ridge you're on, there was like eight mechs there ready to kill me. So I could kill the turrets, but then I would die. Yeah. Basically what I did is, you're way further forward than I had to play, I just left three mechs back right, right where you spawn, and had the one go after the cars, and that's how I had to beat it. And I still got fucked Yeah, up. I mean, that's what I'm gonna do, is as soon as the cars are dead, I'm gonna pull everyone, like, back edge at this area and just pull them up into a kill box here, probably. Um, but let's see if we can't get some... I don't know if I want to go out there that far to, uh, to get the two of... Have you shot with I lasers almost... yet? Certainly, I've not fired any lasers now. In fact, I don't tend to favor lasers all that much. Man, I want to illustrate. Turret? I think he's I fired like one. Lasers. Oh, yeah. maybe maybe I've so fired you, a couple lasers. You, um, you don't have any mechs that have uh, like a bunch of lasers on them. Don't need to tell I think me. my Gosh. quick draw has uh, like three M lasers on it. Here I go to Later save the on, day. Later on, I do have. So, this guy is entrenched. Um, it means he takes half damage from the front. This guy's also entrenched. Um, what we could do is split this. Uh, I built you to have Breaching Shot, which is a perk where if you... Fire with one weapon, it... it fire one weapon at someone, uh, you do... Completely it ignores ign that. Ignore the, uh, the guard and, and stuff like that. So, yeah. we're gonna... Fire one at the Locust and two at the uh, fire starter over there. I think that hit center torso, which is good. Nice. Uh, you don't have uh, mid-combat UI on uh, dur during the... Uh, I can't think of the term, but uh, you can turn it on so that you can see the UI Supply during truck. you yeah. fire. I'm, like, I feel like with the cinematic camera, it just kind of feels weird. I just got bored after a while, and I just wanted to check to see what was going on and, like, what damage I did, so I turned it on as soon as I could. That guy shot a laser at me through the ground. Yeah, so they don't have good hit detection in this game. There's, like, sort of this obstructed... Do you know what the term it's, for it it's is? It's a very the... XCOM-y sort of... Do they do that in XCOM? Like, you can literally yeah, shoot through like, things, and it... I, yeah. I don't like it. I think that's dumb. I don't, I don't know why they do that, but... Yeah, but, uh... Anyway, since we're not gonna really be able to see it, um, with your lasers, or maybe we just did, and I, I didn't... I didn't catch it. Um, 
in in any other mech warrior game when you fire with lasers all your lasers hit the same spot you always i mean unless if you unlink your weapons you pretty much always hit the same spot with your lasers in this game you can just you just saw the spider do it just there where it's lasers shot yeah. like two different spots that would never happen in mech warrior um and it's really annoying at least for me when i started playing the game i would load up a bunch of these lasers so i'd have six medium lasers i'm like all right i'm gonna center uh uh i'm gonna say it wrong uh, I'm going to knock out their center armor right away, but then my mech would walk up and it would hit his arm and his shoulder and his leg and all these different spots. Uh, so lasers are a lot less effective in this game. I, th I think that they should have balanced it more like what Chris was saying in that um, it should be um, like lasers build a lot of heat but are really powerful. And I don't I'm think they balance to it that way in this game. If I should risk if i should just use a precision strike to definitely kill this thing or risk it potentially getting away because i'm not totally sure like, this should be enough if it all hits the side it yeah well this is the risk you have to take oh it's got a lot of structure all right we're gonna you're gonna alpha strike or uh, precision strike it why why is it saying 56 of 75 with the structure what, what i don't know doing? it's weird Cold shot on the side. And... Yeah, there you go. Enemy unit destroyed. Over there. Getting banked up. Real so what's good. the yellow? Is that stability? That's yeah. stability. Yeah. So if that hits max and you take more stability damage, then you get knocked over and that gives free call shots to everyone on you. I don't like the building with the angry Halloween face. <laughs> oh, why is my hit yeah, I always wondered about so those. Well. There's a lot of those buildings in these games. I guess it's because of... In this game, right? Actually, what the hell? Um... We. What is this hit percentage? Indirect fire. Also, something oh, that you do. That I guess I, I haven't do upped your you use jump jets. tactics. Yeah, I I use jump chats a lot, and glitch doesn't, which is an interesting um, difference. Distinction. And that's that. That's something I really like about this game is that you can play this game completely different. I, I know um, one other person who's played as much as we have. Uh, I have one other friend who has, and he also played the game in a completely different way than both of us. Um, he would use jump jets too, but then like most of his mechs were long-range missile boats, and he like basically had no upfront stuff, and it was pretty cool. How can and you, you can play his melee too? But I don't think we have spotter. any. No, not here. Melee is yeah, unfortunately, I would the, love to do a run where it's just melee. That would be neat. The one melee perk is both in a tree that makes no sense for it and also not right. all that good, so... It's not great. I'm just saying, if you wanted to, you could be a giant robot that walks around punching other giant robots in this game. I don't know if you'd even be able to win, but it can be done. I, th I bet you could, wanna, if you did it right. It would be I can really get challenging. these two mechs to pop up in here, so I'm actually going to reserve... Uh, for the right opportunity. So if so, then I could jump While we're going up through here this, Josh, um, you've played through a good amount of the story. I've beaten it. What do you think of the story yeah. in this game? It is not bad, but pretty by the numbers. There's not a lot of surprises. Yeah. Uh, I find it to be terribly cliche to a degree that I don't care for. Um, it was very predictable. Like like I mentioned earlier, you know, Kamea is alive, and in the first mission, they make it look like she dies. Um, but she's not dead, and we all know she's not dead. And seeing that coming, and then kind of having actually done it, like, really disappointed me. There was a, a, a couple times later in the game that happens, too. Not necessarily that specific thing, but they'll, they'll do something that is like oh, this is what they're going to do, and I'm like, oh, well, maybe they'll subvert my expectations, maybe they'll do something, you oh, know, right. kind of There's different or interesting, and they don't. Over there that I never... So and, the in-between uh, health... That's, that's a bummer. I guess... So the, the top health is your your mech's health, and the bottom one is stability. Is the middle one your pilot's health? 
Correct. You can only take yep. so many injuries. I think by default it's like three. The, uh, oh, maybe you mean more. like this red bar here? Yeah. No, that's heat. That's heat. Okay. Uh, injuries are Sorry shown at the that. bottom of the portraits. Let's we'll see if we can yeah, get this starter. Yeah, I got you. Um, this might be bad, but my Shadowhawk has a ton of armor, so... Oh my god, look at that. I'm, I'm not going to waste a call chop. I'm just... No, you don't even need to. Oh my god. Got the left leg instead. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> I was Fire starters you carry a bunch it. of flamethrowers, which don't do very much damage, but um, create a ton of heat, which can be bad. Create can, a ton of heat on, their, the, on the person they're targeting. The problem with this, and this is why that's not super useful, at least in my experience, is that uh, you, if you run up to someone and you uh, are in close quarters with them and you're overheating, one of the best things you can do is just punch them because uh, that'll yep. keep you from heating more. So if a fire starter comes over to you and, and punches you and then flames you, uh, it, all you do is you take your next turn and you just fucking crush that fire starter with your foot and it dies. <laughs> okay, mech walking backwards is a weird thing to see. I'm just gonna say that. Yes. Jenner's a weird mech. Oh, come on! What is it with you, Glitch? You always get head hit randomly. I know! Sa same in mine! In my game, Glitch got injured every single match, and I had to like play very carefully because I didn't want me to die. Um... Is there a place I can go to that will give me more... Oh, that'll give me three evasive, and I'll be able to shoot. Is your front armor better? Uh, Beware no. that turret, though. You're you're moving in line of that turret. I'll I'll probably be okay. This is the part where we jump to keep... ahead to the future, where you get sniped by that <laughs> turret, like just hard cut to that, and your mech ball. Yeah, and get eyes. knocked over and lose my arm and torso, and and yeah. then you immediately get killed. Like this is my player character, so she can't die regardless. Um, uh, yeah, but I've had one where my player character got to the to the death injury setting. And All right, so the that's not time cool. Was like three years, and I no. was like, uh, no. God damn it! How about not that? Ugh. You did kill the, the melee the range. Vehicle. You can just pretty much insta kill it and kill them. Yeah. Yeah, not, vehicles. Uh, if you step on them, they just die. I'm here. What's can you... Wait, can you hit him from here? Blah. That was a weird stutter there. Um, no. 55% odds. Right. That's a little better. This puts you in... No, that doesn't give you any... Copy that. This could be a thing where I'm just probably going to have to use next turn to go after it again. Well, you can Overheat lose two, alert. Right? You'll be fine. I'm not gonna waste a thing to kill that. Uh, no. Oh, weapons are go. On. It didn't die. He did. Fucking structure exposed, but no kill. Yeah, uh, those can be finicky, because their armor is all over the place. I mean, missiles are bad at killing vehicles, so... Yeah, I was gonna like say, if the... you had a, uh... If you had a laser, you know... I'll just use my quick draw next. Uh, in the meantime... That's one mech in there. I want to get another, so we're gonna reserve you again. So reserving puts you later in the turn order. Forever, or just this round of five? Oh, man. No, just this round. Oh, man. Can I get three of them? Oh, crap. Well, um... That's probably... If that guy... Oh, okay. Commander? You have a sight on... You do not. Okay. 
Okay, we can we can put you where you'll have a sword. That's a lot of red lines. This this mission is notoriously got a lot of units in it. Maybe not yes. notoriously. It was notorious for me. Um, what are we even gonna shoot at here? I guess the panther maybe. Or I could just sprint you back here. It might be better to just sprint you out of the way. Yeah. I mean, you don't really have a lot of targets over there. Yeah, I mean, I could shoot at that, like, light mech, but whatever. Yeah, the I light mechs you want to come moment. to you because they're so weak. Please step into kill zone. Yes! Yes! I love it when they do that. And that dragon could be a real fucking problem, too. So it's yeah. good that you're gonna hit it. You're not gonna take it down with that, though. The stability is a bit of a concern. Yeah, that's no good. Um, all right, we gotta make sure we we have an a hit angle on. So it says we can hit this. I've I've had it look like I could hit it. You're and gonna then be fuck shooting me through over. that other mech. Because it's once it becomes that darker red color, it it's. I'm pretty sure I can't tell the the resolution of it. I mean, the the but. thing has an indicator on it that says I can hit it from here. Yeah, but is it is it fully in in sight? It looks like or it. Or are you obstructed? Looks like it's in sight to I me. Guess, I guess it does. It, sh it shouldn't be. You're shooting through that I'm next leg. Actually, but... yeah. Well, maybe maybe Behemoth's a really good shot. Have you thought about that? <laughs> no, not in this fucking game. They're not. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I, I, I do not want to miss this. Uh, I'm gonna turn off my me no, medium laser and commit everything else to it. I, I think it's Fire. too valuable for you to. Uh, yeah, there we go. Not hit it. Alright. I think that'll kill the. Yeah, the light mech. Yeah, it kills and then, the light. Or the cicada. And then. Actually, I think the cicada is a 45 ton mech, so it's actually a low medium. And then it'll just fuck up. No, it's, the... it's considered to be a light. Is yeah. it? Really? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I thought the cicada was like a slightly bigger Jenner. I don't know. Whoa! It missed every single it's shot! What was that? Lucky, lucky you. It's still in the light mech category, I'm pretty sure. There is something about watching this that is more... Like, it is simultaneously slower and yet more entertaining to me than XCOM. Like... The game moves way slower as a game, but watching it, yeah. the cinematic camera works way better than XCOM's, which always felt a little pre-baked, like every single encounter is the same. Oh, shit. Oh, that's gonna be a knockdown. Warning. Detecting mech warrior I think. Injury. Yeah. Uh oh and head hit. That's like what? That's two injuries right in one, yep. one go. Detecting mech warrior Let's hope oh, you have shit. Big now I'm not threshold. seeing the... the truck either. You're gonna step on me instead of doing a cold <laughs> shot? Why? Oh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> that would have been a better call. At least their cold shots suck a lot. Yeah, can, this, I, can I play my this mechs now? Particular has a lot yep. of light mechs in it. I need to... I gotta kill this thing. Oh, that's, I can only hit it with the... Okay, that's a direct shot. It's not telling me what I can hit it with, it, but it is it, saying I've got a direct shot at it, which is weird. It has a lot of uh, distance to go still. That, uh, that truck. Firing we'll read everything. Yeah! Alright, truck dead, and we can just, like, hopefully get my mech back up and run away. Vehicle yeah, just back it up. That's what and, I did. And this she's sitting in the, the place with Kill the box. thing, that the environmental effect yeah. that makes it harder to hit her, so... Please no. And then because of the way this game takes a while to think about it, you're just like sitting there waiting yeah. for like, oh, is it gonna blow up? <laughs> yes, Commander. So can it blow up before your armor is at zero? 
Um, uh, well, I mean, you I'm, have I'm missing armor on my. Ex oh, Jesus! Look at this you is have bad. Exterior this armor. Is... Yeah, that's really bad. You have the exterior armor, and then you have like core strength armor, like your internal armor, yeah. or not armor, but health is really more I'm accurate. Almost tempted and to that save, internal fuck health. Second bonus and blow up these guys. Yeah, that internal health we... is really important. Because uh, if do you lose want... that, you die. Your mech explodes. Do we do we want to try to do this as a like get all the bonuses? I mean, I feel like you should uh, because you've yeah. already done this mission. This isn't gonna affect anything you've already done. Yeah, so I yeah. think we go balls to the walls. You gotta get this right. Uh, don't don't let anyone die though, because that would be just cruel. The dragon didn't even really get fucked. It took rear armor damage. What the hell? Um. Yeah, I'm just like I'm trying to figure out who to even go for at this point. There's the griffin. That's. I would go for the crate. And that's if have you already blown up two? No, I've, yeah. I've blown up two crates because I blew up the one to kill the turrets. Uh, that's why I was asking. Oh, uh, you like, you did kill the turrets. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's a bit of a bummer. Uh, let's get the Griffin. Let's see if we can fuck up the. Just. Oh yeah. man, I can only use one of these and not overheat more. Affirmative. Waste. Uh, that didn't do much. Uh-oh. Uh well, that was the point of using well, of using my player character instead of... I mean, that happened to be the last time I, mean, I did this mission. If really, and you didn't hard restart? Yeah, your player character doesn't die. This, I know he doesn't die, but you're going to have to wait for, like, years. Yeah, I did two months, but whatever. I, I think I may have hard like, restarted that. I don't remember actually. Mine was um, like 160 days, man. When when that happened, I've, my I've been character. prioritizing midday upgrades, so I think it was 90 days. Uh, at this point, you don't have the option to prioritize medbay upgrades. I don't think. Yeah, you do. Or at least you. Uh, I went through the mission for the so, uh, the story very quickly. So Maybe at this point, gosh. I had no. No chance to do. I think I had two upgrades on the the newer ship. That's two AC5 ammos. I that don't could think be I can big. kill it in one uh, hit. AC5 but... ammo doesn't explode, but it still would. Uh, yeah, the lower problem his is weapon capacity. Could potentially knock off one of his arms. Go for the head. Wait, you don't want to call shot an arm. Go for the shoulder. That's the thing, I don't have enough damage with an AC-10 to kill his shoulder, though. So he's got 20 armor and then 50 structure. So for the Man, uninitiated, what sucks. is a cold shot? It's, you get, That's... so it, it pops up this interface where you get to select a, a position and you get a better chance of hitting it. Um, and that uses my morale. You get morale by killing mechs and uh, accomplishing objectives. Um, and you use it on precision strike and... I should have used vigilance on my goddamn quick draw back then. Oh, that didn't even hit the fucking torso. I and now we've got the March of the Light Mech Brigade. Yeah. You get to watch them either murder you or not. You're still not going to lose the mission, though. I mean, you, you oh, look no. like you're in pretty good shape. You should be able to finish these guys. As long as my Shadowhawk doesn't get totally fucked up here, I think I'm fine. Right. Unless if something drastic happens. Let me, like, pull everyone back to box and hide in the floor. Is he going to punch well, now you? now you decided to shoot at me. Oh, he just runs up <laughs> and crotch lasers you. That's great. God I damn like it! You. you are, uh, this would not be a good 
a good round for you if you were, you know, like playing seriously. This would be a really bad deal. I copy. So why is the Griffin's code name just Griffin, but all asterisk-desized? Wow, I'm, I'm gonna overheat from firing LRM-5s? Alright, brace. I don't know. I mean, you're right at the heat limit. Heat damage. Damn it. I find the game changes a lot when you get your first assault mech, and suddenly you can just, like, oh, yes. ignore everything about these guys. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of depth to, like, the number of mechs you can get and the different kinds of mechs you can get in this game. Um, that kind of opens up more after this mission. This mission is pretty early on, at least it was for me. Ten four. Yeah. Um, like, game time. I think I'm on day, like, 400. Ooh, I got the PPC. Maybe. Good. Uh, You're on day 400 dead. now? You must really like do a lot of side quests. I do. I ended my game on day like 600, 700, something like that. Oh, I'm on like day 950 in my campaign right so. now. Jesus, man. You, uh, and it doesn't annoy you that, that the campaign kind of has these like missions that it feels really. like you should I assume be doing. that like, you know... It's 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 assumed that like oh stuff is happening you know in the warfront that requires time to develop and meanwhile I mean I feel like that's the way it's supposed to be read. It doesn't read that way to me at all. It's like, oh yeah, we're gonna go liberate this planet. Oh okay, we'll wait for you for you know uh, twenty three weeks. You'll be fine. Mm, not get his torso with that. I don't think I hit his torso once with that. That. That completely ruins my suspension of disbelief. The whole. Uh, Can you jump jet down onto somebody? Yes. yes. There's it's an attack death from that above. Does that. It breaks your legs, so it's not all, actually all that useful. But it does break your legs. Well, it doesn't have to. Because if your mech uses, you loses both legs, then it's incapacitated. Ooh. What? Looks like one of my torso spots got exposed. Internal damage. Aren't we due for another car? No, they only spawn like two, I think. Yep, yeah, just two. Those lasers, though. Yeah, Always really. Missing. Like, look at that. That's a great cinematic shot. Yep. Yes. This game does look good. It does oh feel God, tedious after all, a while, at I, least. Oh, that's where all three of my LRM-10s are. Okay, you're leaving. You're gonna run back here? Run, but the, I put in, like, a good, like, 60 hours into this game, so after a while, like, this sort of stuff breaks. does get old. Receiving you. I actually, you can actually lower the amount of uh, times the cinematic cameras will come up, uh, and I did that. Um, and I thought that was really neat that they gave us that option. This game has a lot of options like that. This might knock out that torso. Wow, he's super overheated too. You're also very close to overheated. Yeah. I copy. Fighting in Yes! Alright. That pretty much neutralizes that griffin. My armor is getting stripped off. Commander? The other thing I like about this versus like X is the fact that environmental factors like cover and um, positioning do matter but XCOM felt like kind of like a turn-based version of Ge uh, Gears of War where you're constantly moving Gears from cover War, to yeah. cover this feels yeah. more like dynamic and tactical action combat 
Like, it's a really slowed down, turn-based, uh, tabletop version of what could have just been a Mech Warrior battle in a Mech Warrior game. I mean, the cool thing about this game versus XCOM is that, like, in XCOM, if you're out in the open, you die in one turn. Like, even the yeah. best character you can get. This game is, like, much slower paced in terms of its lethality, where it takes, like, a real, yeah. uh... Even Light Mechs take a beating. Like, effort. Yeah, even Light Mechs. Light Mechs... I can blow up Light Mechs pretty easily, although I have not been demonstrating that lately. The, um, you, you can tend to blow up Light Mechs a lot easier than Glitch. Light Mechs on your team Glitch. can uh, be blown up. Like, the, this... Glitch. If it, if you were playing up against... You didn't die. I didn't die, did I? No, you gotta have another Kill fucking me. head hit. I know. I, I told you. That happens. But anyway, um... I don't know where I was talking about now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Um, you were talking I, about I knew mechs. I would lose it if you interrupted me. I was like trying to power through that sentence. Well, somebody you're talking about light mechs this. being. Yeah, yeah. Like my light mechs didn't die that die. often. If you get them overexposed, they die. But the, these guys don't play like uh, other human players would, which they can they can just aim at your light mechs and you know kill them. Uh, we we played a online game or two. Uh, in which yeah, it was way more difficult to survive. Like, you, you, your mechs don't get to live Ready for uh, orders. as much as they do in the campaign. In that way, the AI is limited. Um, no. But I think Good it could be a little too challenging if they were smarter. I need you guys to not be on that ridge with that fucking sensor scattering effect. That's what this black patch is. Four AC tens left. I think we'll just keep plonking them with. Actually, no, we'll brace and plonk the heat a bit. Oh, the dragon's finally coming to play. This is one of the longer missions, too. There are definitely shorter missions. This one just happens to have a lot of mechs. Like, I feel like we've been uh, on this one for ages. Um, it, it makes it a good one to talk about, though. It gives us plenty of time. But yeah, there are a ton of enemies on this one, where some of them might be a little more intimate. There's definitely, like, different missions where it, it's more valuable to play in different ways. Uh, you kind of have to play a little more defensively on this one. Though. Come down here. I mean, uh, really oh, aggressive. Oh, they're standing first, in the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. Bye. Come on! Leave my griffin alone. Wow, it overheated with that alpha strike. That's interesting. I mean, it fired a lot of lasers. Yep. Lasers do overheat, but alpha. You They don't like your griffin. Shit. Critical hit! Critical hit! Commander. All weapons are go. Get lucky. What are those even doing? Why are you shooting the ground? Wow, they are really just... They have decided their target. Reporting internal damage. That's not good. No, it isn't. Are you gonna lose another mech? Possibly. Affirmative. 
I, I did to tell Josh to play this Taking one. these guys out. Uh, knowing that it was one of the harder ones to play. I mean, I also suggested it. All right, well, we got that mech's leg down, which means we might be able to kill them next round. Um, or light mechs coming around. Uh, you just, you were just there and you went to the... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Heavy mech hasn't even really come out to the field yet. What was that panther doing down there? Not getting shot at by you. Standing by. Come on, you can get it. So you're just gonna fire the AC-10 and I'm the laser? To overheat so I can fire erase you. On. Yeah, you shoot that ground. Oh, oh, that's a knocked over mech. I thought the mech was LRMs. over the hill and you were shooting through the hill. No. I'm taking heat damage. God damn it. I forgot how bad the RNG was at this, like, earlier in the okay. campaign. I feel like it gets a lot better when you get high morale and weapons that can consistently just core light and medium mechs. Yeah. And the way they so compensate for this is that they like in later games. Uh, well, this one's pretty pretty good uh, too, but um, uh, they'll have a lot more mechs. I mean, this is a pretty uh, in average. This will one probably kill in this that guy. I would hope. Hey, a liar! There we go. Uh, that's gonna give me morale, so I can start fucking making cold shots again. Hopefully enough evasion that they won't kill them. Well, that's not a good thing. Internal structure damage. Good to go. Got it. Or so. Oh, I might not be able to. We'll see. What... Firing everything I've got. All right, there we go. All right, we we just Finally. killed two of them in one turn. That's good. So there's four of them and three of us now. Now you kind of have this. In the yeah. Bag. I'm that, still worried about that odds. dragon down there. Isn't he kind of like a? Uh, His back weaponless. is fucked it's, up. It's if I can flank him. It, it's weird because I, no, I want to click on he's things, just, but I can't. He's not. Like, I can't see him right now, but he's not weaponless, he's just, um, hanging out and firing LRMs at me instead of attacking directly, which is weird. I- this is, like, the AI is being very passive in this round, which I didn't expect. Usually the AI just dumbly charges at you. we get you more overheat alert? I'm not sure I care about that. Let's see if we can't your center torso. Probably get the side torso just by... So is there any way to do like you could in old mech warrior games and shut down? Yep. You cannot if, if you manually overheat enough, shut down. Not, not manually, but if you overheat enough, you will shut down and have to restart, and I believe that gives them... Um... I believe that gives them called shots on you. God. Yeah, if you're shut down, it gives them called shots. I mean, that makes sense. You can't move or evade. Yep. I just remember doing a lot that a lot when playing Mech Warrior. Getting overheated and because I didn't invest enough in heat sinks because I was like eight, and then just shutting the entire system down while the AI fired rockets around my head. <laughs> Those were good times. We 
Waiting for orders. I, I, I do miss a good Mech Warrior game, and I'm sad they don't make them anymore. Oh, this, this is a good Mech Warrior game. Well, okay, yes, but I mean like a Mech Warrior Mech Warrior game, not a Battle Tech yes. Mech Warrior game. Well, as Mech cool Warrior is Online is. is kind of good. I, it's one of those games where if you expect it to be like what the old ones were, you're probably going to be disappointed. But I really enjoyed it. Oh, so much for my big guns. Did they make the AR smarter in a patch or something? Damage minor. I don't know. I don't think so. I haven't played it. After I beat it, I kind of didn't play it again. Uh, that's God damn it. something I think we damn can talk about more later, though. Yeah. Alright, you need to... What right now? Brace ya. Yes, Commander. Wow, you're not gonna hit those guys. No. Brace you there and try to get them to come down and fight us. Oh, the dragon finally showed up. Hi. If we can kill that dragon, I'm confident like we will win this match. The thing is, I'm not sure we can kill the guy. I guess. Have your light one going behind it. Just for a called shot, but well, the light one is well enough to survive right now. I just want to start stripping his front armor because look at how low his center torso armor is here. Yeah, yeah. It's light basically armor. non-existent. Of course, if you miss every shot. <laughs> Like the I like exploding. that you killed the building back there. <laughs> I'm taking a pounding command. I may have to advance and go into melee. What was that weird camera angle? Yikes! That hit hard. Commander. Here we go. I don't care if it's gonna fucking shut down the whole damn mech. We're gonna shoot at the center torso and hopefully kill it with the last AC-10 shot. Taking the shot. <laughs> Excitement. One more shot. It did not hit where I wanted it to, but we got the right torso and right arm, so that's good. And the center torso is probably really fucked up too. And it's unsteady. This heat is cooking my internal structure. Center torso is pretty fucked up. It's not as fucked up as I'd like it it's to not be. As We're just gonna lay in. Yeah, it's insane. See? Knocked down. I think it's gonna stand up the. Oh, did it fire already? No, it fired already. So we got a whole round where we're just gonna get called shots and kill it. Okay. Good to go. Are called no, shots on down things free versus. Yeah. Yeah, things that are shut down or knocked down are free call shots. Yes! Alright, Light Max. What you got? And before Panther crits <laughs> glitch in the face and blows him up. Don't. Don't do that. Ooh. They would aim at not your dragon, what, I think. What, they would what have was that? Time at this. <laughs> what, what did they hit? Because you've got an exposed head. Orders. I've heard that one before. Glitch, why is your head so exposed all the time? Constantly. It's my life.
How do I not have enough morale from that for a called shot? Um, we can keep. Con Firing on target. Not where I want you to be hitting. Generating a lot of. Yeah, and that's the biggest discrepancy. Uh, not to harp on it too much, but that's the biggest discrepancy from uh, actual Copy Mech that. Warrior. That and you can't really torso twist in this game, which I'm really sad about. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, in Mech Warrior, uh, a pretty much something that every good Mech Warrior does is they will torso twist after Ooh. they shoot, um, so that you know you'll get hit in the arm or something instead of being shot in the um, uh, the center torso or the shoulders. That's the idea. Anyway. But in I this game, how... you just kind of stand there and get shot. I love how complicated Mech Warrior made something as simple in most FPS target. games as circle strafing, because you would have your legs can only walk forward. So in, in like the old oh. Mech Warrior games, you had to set a speed you wanted to run at, and then manually t twist your torso to look at the enemy, so that you sort of it's almost oh, like uh, it's almost like boats in the uh, like Sid Meier's Pirates. You have to sort of twist your torso to aim the actual cannons while your legs continue to march forward. It's it's I love I, I miss Mech Warrior so much. Next next week on Quick Look, Mac Warrior Online, where we all play Mac Warrior Online and Josh and Chris get stomped. I, that game does I, I, not I would, like new players. It's, it has nothing to do with your skill. Reading you. <laughs> do they not sell Mac Warrior 3 anymore? I need to get by those old ones. I used to play them with a friend back when we were kids, and we were too little to really, uh, we were too really little to really play the game well. So he would control one thing on it. I don't remember how we'd split it up. Like I think he would control the movement, and I would control the weapons, and like aiming and stuff. It was ridiculous and fun. Miss those days. Why am I not just running up to these guys and hitting them? I mean, that's your choice. This mech is just going to be fused into one giant lump of metal by the end of this mission, I swear to god. My mech is overheating. This is uh, also not normally how long it takes at the end of the mission. It's just that Josh no. got so fucking fucked up uh, that only one of them left. he's having to finally this facility is ours. slowly, slowly kill things. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, this game is voice acted only occasionally. It, it's really and frustrating. And in the spots that are the weirdest for it to be voice acted. Right. So like they'll voice act that little bit where it's like. Standing by. Oh, take them out, but they won't voice act like important things. They do have cutscenes that are, are all right. They voice like those, but it's really a shame that they didn't just balls to the walls go for voice acting for every line, because it wouldn't have been that much more to do that. I don't know. It's it's a bit of a disappointment. My heat can't vent fast enough. I'm taking damage. God, just. Roger. Venting heat. Good to go. So, did you want to see a death from above, Campster? Yeah. <laughs> Affirmative. Here we go. Wow. Fuck you. Hell yeah. Wow. That's a kill. All right, we successfully. Completed the mission with all the uh, payout objectives, and no one died because the player character doesn't die in this game. Yeah, though so let's. I want to see how many weeks it's going to take you to recover. It's not going to be a small amount. So, do player character tree upgrades, um, or the character upgrades, do those you get to pick, or is it like? Um... 82 days, so, you know, two and a half month sabbatical. Big deal. Still a really long time. Uh, I lost my SRM 6++.
Oh yeah, that's always sad. The plus plus is like a, a one kill special variant that. Uh, <laughs> and it's the turret or the vehicle. They give it better stuff. Yeah, it's it's like a, a yeah. you know infinity plus one kind of thing. You know, plus one sword. Ah, that, was, gonna be that was that mission um and then at the end you get to like you get like so my my salvage is priority three total 14 so i'm gonna get 14 out of it and i can select um the first three three things that i definitely want to get so we uh, want the dragon obviously because that's dragon. a heavy mech and, uh, and those heavy mech frames those mech frames you have to collect because it's not a full yep. mech you destroyed it after all uh you have to collect why wow, you didn't even scroll through the rest of the list to see if there's anything good what a waste uh i mean there usually isn't at this point i guess not but anyway you need to collect three of those frames in order to get it which confused me for the first couple missions i'm like well, i thought i got this mech so that's it that's battle tech uh, at least that's yep. a mission in battle tech there's a bunch more like that there's a like uh i would say there's like well, maybe I won't give it a specific number, but there's a good number of, uh, of story missions, and then the side missions I really enjoy. The they're not like they're kind of randomly generated, so they're not um, like the highest quality, but they're they're more interesting than I think most other games do it. Yeah. Yeah. We've got My, story cutscenes here. Um, people are very people just kind of have idle animations in these story cutscenes, and and no voice acting. Yeah. But um, it's no cool. voice acting. It's a real bummer. Um, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna really get into this, but um, yeah. Well, that was Battle Mech. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty say, cool. Yeah, it's very pretty badly good. optimized. Weird it's very. Bugs. I would. I don't know if it's worth it. If you're not a big fan of this kind of game, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, or, or if if you're not a big fan of XCOM but you like Mech Warrior, you might like it. That's what I was. I hated XCOM uh, a lot. But I love Mech Warrior, so this scratched my Mech Warrior itch. But it is forty dollars on Steam. Um, yep. And it's poorly I, optimized. I cannot emphasize enough how badly optimized this game is. Like it's, it takes me thirty-five seconds to load, like to open the save menu. Like that's, that's and that's one. It's got a solid some state, weird, right? crazy thing going on with lists. Yeah, this is on a solid state drive. Yeah, um, I I don't have it on a solid state, and it would take several minutes. Uh, if you're time. the kind of person that was that was annoyed by the times when XCOM after shooting would churn for a bit while it tried to figure out what was going mm -hmm. on, uh, this game is that, but like twice as bad. But it's yeah. also really fun. So I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, where it lacks in that, I think it's way more fun than in XCOM. Yeah. I really enjoy it. I will say, uh, I it almost feels like to me, if I were to have this game, I wish that they would have just gotten rid of the story, get rid of that, and make it more like oh, something like, like Star story. Traders. I mean, I like or... having the story there. Yeah, I, I guess, but I would have preferred it to be more like uh, Mountain Blade would be a great example. There's this big yeah. world. Can you take us back? Can you skip through this and take us back to the overworld map so I can show people the navigation page? Um, uh, there's this big map, and they restrict movement through, this I would is, say, a yeah, good 75% of the map. Um, until, and I'm, I, this might be like a soft spoiler. I don't know if people really care about this, but you can't do, uh, go through any of this until after you complete the campaign you see the yellow area you can go through anything in there uh you can go through the red area but you can't go through anywhere else uh sometimes it'll yeah. take you into Travel that green restricted. goat area Travel restricted. um first right until after oh the i game. can actually the go is, into the tarian concordat that's odd right you can go through that uh during certain parts of the story mission but it doesn't branch out past these three little areas um and it feels to me like this would make a great um like like simulation where there are there's all this political discord and stuff going on in this system and you're just like yeah. this one group of people not some big you're not part of some big overarching story you're just this rpg character who's trying to make a living and you can get involved in these big conflicts but they don't hinge on you i, I would have much preferred something like that uh in this game and ultimately that's why i was kind of disappointed in it i didn't really like the story and then afterwards there's not really anything to do you can go through and do those side quest like missions but there's no reason to because you're not building towards anything anymore and there's not it's not like the galaxy ever changes you're not helping anyone do anything uh and that was a bummer to me do you I have any final thoughts so i can't on really it? talk about it but uh yeah i it's 
when it works, it's really good. When it doesn't work, it's really frustrating. Um, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. But there is, like, a lot of that tactical depth there, so... Lots of tactical depth and really interesting mech customization options. You know, if you like uh, RPG sort of building your own characters to do uh, their own things, um, then you'll probably like this game.